Two and a half years ago, Call of Duty Mobile decided to release the Finnick with an akimbo attachment. It was the first of its kind on the game. And to be honest, I never thought we would see another one quite like it again. Until the glorious COD Mobile, who sponsored today's video, you can check out using the link at the top of the description, decided they wanted an SMG that was a secondary fully automatic with akimbo. But just how broken is it? What the heck? It is an 80 round drum magazine? Switches to fully automatic fire? What the hell kind of attachments does this thing have? Let's upgrade it to max. Of course, we're gonna use the legendary that we got last video. And first, let's try it out by itself and then with akimbo. Ooh, first impressions. All right, it looks amazing. Love the blue all over it. That whole draw was just goaded. I don't have the fully auto attachment on this pistol right now, but it still shoots fully automatically. Iron sight's pretty good too. Decent damage range. All right, I'm kind of curious how much damage this does close range. 45 to the head. 36 to the chest. This thing can three shots to the chest. Well, at least it can two shots to the head. Gonna be honest though, my rate is pretty slow and I don't think anyone's gonna be using it like this. Here's a loadout that you can use. What we're all interested in is the akimbo. <laughs> okay, what the hell is this? Test of the fire rate real quick. Bro, because I have the AE drum round on, I have 160 bullets per magazine. That's more than the entire OTS ammo reserve that you spawn with. These are gonna break the game. We get a little inspect. Hmm, we like that though. First kill with the akimbos. That death effect's kind of juicy. Get out of here, goofball. Yoink. Wow. I wonder who thought it was a good idea to add these. Brother. Yeah, that's right, dude. Stop camping, dude. Ooh, turned on you as well. Oh my gosh, the range. I did not expect that to work. <laughs> it's crazy. How fast these things shit, dude. What the heck is this, bro? Bye. See you later, guys. Oh, a little triple though. Hey guys, don't mind me, just don't need to... Oh, okay, never mind. Now I know what you're thinking. Why the hell have I changed outfits? Okay, I'm kidding. You want to know exactly where the Makarov lands on the top five secondaries list? Well, it's definitely above the J358. And obviously it's better than the other fully automatic pistol being the L car that you can't make akimbo. It's basically made that gun useless. RIP. In fact, when it comes to the top three secondaries in the entire game, I would actually have a hard time picking between the Makarov, the Shorty, and the 50 GS. The Makarov is the versatility winner. The Shorty is the best close range. The 50 GS can snipe people across the map. So really, just pick your poison. Of what you want to obliterate, eliminate, and annihilate your opposition with. One. Two. <laughs> three. Oh! The fiery on this is magnificent, dude. What? I can't believe that reached him. There we are. One more. Oh, the whole team is gone. Don't even bother. Look at the range. The attachments I've got on this thing are doing work. Hi, player. I would say that this thing is probably going to be the go-to pistol for the entirety of season four. Like, what's not the love? A fully automatic, fast-firing pistol that you can have two of as your secondary. Oh. <laughs> There's only one last thing we need to get. And you guys already know what that is. The Makarov only Nick. Oh yeah. What are you doing? You. Oh. Little advance. Killing all the broskies. Yoink. Oh, it's just so fast. No way they got an EMP. Can't bloody see anything, bro. Don't take that free kill. You. There we have it. These pistols are broken. Subscribe if mobile gamers are real gamers.